Anyway, uh, enough of this. Uh, the game we're going on to today uh, is this little obscure one called Backpacker. Now, um, this uh, this game. Um, so I really enjoyed it as a kid. It's basically uh, first person. Uh, you sort of get uh, you're basically traveling across the world and at each stopover you uh, stay at a place and do odd jobs and answer trivia questions for money um, and there's these fun little mini games for sort of each job as you go through um, and I really enjoyed it as a kid I thought it was I think it's all done in like macromedia so what flash ended up becoming um, the only issue is it's that obscure that I could only find, um, uh, the original Swedish version, not the English version I had. Um, so, actually, yeah, I was going to do my little, actually record this and do fun stuff with it later on. That's all good. Yeah, I thought you'd be down for this TP. How you doing, mate? Yeah, yeah, this was my childhood too. Um what's yeah so i'll just i'll catch you up um had a lot of trouble getting windows 95 running um but there is a really obscure game i want to play on it um this is kind of the stopover while that's happening um but yeah uh travel around the world answer trivia questions make money and the only issue is um i couldn't get it in english um so we're going to have to play it in Swedish. Um, so I'm going to put it at the easiest level I can and just go from here. Um, <laughs> I actually did okay. I did. I had a quick go with, um, oh, it's well timed then on the day off. Nice. All right. So just fill out my passport. <laughs> it's a little, yeah, yeah. I know you'd be a bit young for it, JC. But yeah, this was, uh, this was pretty fun. Um, all right, Australia, put me a little stamp on there. And we end up with 30,000 kronor. So yeah, for some, it just starts you off in Sweden. Um, so like we could even role play this. This is, a, this is just after my visit, after seeing TP over his way I'm sort of on my way back um, but yeah so we can go USA Oslo London Reykjavik Moscow and yeah I'm actually like it took me ages to work out what the UK was but uh, yeah store Britannian so I'm actually gonna read everything out I apologize in advance TP for murdering the Swedish language but I think that's gonna be part of the fun yeah <laughs> Full of shitty food and licorice. I've sung Hair Lan Gore fucking hundred times. Full of delicious schnapps. But yeah, let's let's go visit the other boys. Um, Alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, this didn't really need a decent PC. This is, this is running in Windows 3.1 at the moment. <laughs> um... I think I did. I think that's what it was. I think I was had. We had 95 or 98 when. By the time we got this, because we used to get like burnt CDs. We usually have a swap with other people, so I got to play a fair bit of stuff, um, like obscure stuff, and yeah, it just had an interesting range of stuff in the 90s. Right, uh, let's crack it, Swedish. Uh, St. Paul's Cathedral. I thought I'd pick something I'm at least familiar with, because the trivia questions are... Some are tricky, um, some are plain interesting, and some are going to be hard with in Swedish, yeah. Um, St. Paul's Cathedral. Ah, London's Storsta Kirka. Up for 1675 to 77. After Dead Store studs Brandon anyway all right oh I actually got money for visiting was that an expense or a, okay ah oh, I guess that's a I forgot that was a thing uh, Kirko's church okay ah yeah okay yeah so I'm trying to yeah it took me a while to work out 
because there's usually the umlaut and there's the circle I forgot how to pronounce the circle one so I'm going to butcher that a fair bit um, but yeah the basic gist of this is you book yourself into a hotel at 37 pounds a nut uh, Mr. Sandals in an Nishkrivra in a Pa Blackmore Hotel, Vil Viveta Herbra Nikana Til London Ock Store Britannian. Ah, O's, ah, with the on there. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, it asks, it's asking you trivia questions for, um, to actually get into the hotel. You kind of need to know your shit to actually stay at places. Um, and I'm actually getting repeated questions, so I know this is about darts. Darts. After Engels Guns Dart Piddle. Ah, uh, it's, uh, Backpacker TP. Oh, yeah, yeah, Minecrafts. The kids and their Minecrafts and Fortnite. <laughs> the Fortnite dongles, yeah. No, they don't understand culture. Um, oh, I'm actually getting the exact same questions as I did last time. So it's asking us... Uh, who's this guy? Uh, he apparently wrote Pygmalion and My Fair Lady. And I think I picked Bernard Shaw. That's correct. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you get the little jazzy into it. Like, this is all, yeah, like, pre-Flash days, but ba built on what Flash became, basically. Mm. And I couldn't work out this one, so it's saying... The tunnel system for the trains in London's The Underground, also known as Tube. Uh, when was it created? And it was apparently, uh, I think it was, yeah, 1863 the Tube started in London. Oh no, this is a different one, okay. Wilken Bonnetter Fordons Vektentingha Britska Billa. So I'm guessing that's uh, what stamp is on the back of like for international when you're traveling internationally it's at least someone intelligible fair enough uh, yeah gb i remember that because uh yeah my family went over for a trip uh we did the uk up to as far as scotland and most of europe in 1992 uh so i would have been about seven at the time okay Dana Britska Kvina Agitrade Redan Pa eighteen hundred talent for social reformer Ok Kvinlig Rostrat nineteen oh three Bildar Hondet Sonkom at Kalas for Suffragette or Ellison Women's Social and Political Unit Vadva Henitz Namen Oh, who started the suffragettes? Okay. Mm. I've actually got no idea. I, I only know that. <laughs> I just remember the suffragettes from that um, Philomena Kunk skit. Um, <laughs> uh, she does good work. Um, let's go. It's got to be something posh, because only posh people seem to get ideas about social movements. Yeah. <laughs> Pankhurst, okay. Emmeline Pankhurst, that sounds right. Hey, no back soon. We'll give you a timeout. No. Nah. Um, and this was fairly... I got the, most of these wrong the first time, but yeah, just name all the areas in the UK. Uh, Oxford was here. Leeds, I think, was... It's northern. Oh, close. I'm usually only one off. Edinburgh's there. Birmingham's... Uh, keep yeah, Belfast, Ireland, obviously. Uh, Southampton, Leeds was. Or I forgot where Leeds was. Um, Birmingham, fucking Birmingham. Yeah, and yeah, we're on a time limit, unfortunately too. Nottingham, Are you fucking really? Oh, I was doing so well last time. Damn it, Liverpool. I know Liverpool. And fuck, uh, Brighton. Brighton was south. Birmingham. I keep... Mm, I'm always one off, aren't I? Nottingham. There we go. Plymouth. Birmingham. Glasgow. Norwich. Fucking Norwich. Leeds. Norwich. London. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> those are the British Inlands. 
Yeah, I know, because I had a look, I know, like, Milton Keynes is, like, directly south of Nottingham. So I knew Oxford would be around there somewhere. And sort of, I think, yeah, Neves over the Northampton way. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, so I thought I'd pick something. Oh! Uh, okay, they, we don't get to stay. Oh! Uh, can we stay here? I don't know what I got the little sting for. I guess I didn't answer enough questions, but I guess it's letting us stay here. Um, just gonna save the game. Sounds BD. And just stick it straight in the uh, Windows Drive. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the sound effects, man. Ah, oh, it takes me back. But yeah, so while we're out and about in London, we might as well earn some money. So let's go look for a job. On our <laughs> Apple Macintosh. Alright, so we can go to a music hall. The Albert Hall is an illusionist. Uh, the ensemble is a Tierra Batare Soaps. That is. Or we can join MI6. <laughs> I'm actually going to go, I went MI6 last time and there's a fun little mini game I want to show off for that one, so we'll do MI6. Alright, welcome in Death Sandals. Theatre worker, oh, three for the theatre, okay. Yeah, good thing we win MI6. Yeah, so each question you have a chance to win money, and I think this is our current monies, and you just got to answer as many questions as you can right to save up enough to move on. Um, all right, who would who would person then Eden Storza Engelska Spionska and Darlin e modern tid va and hot upstart um but smen some is a minute in like like it's right from uh at least until Soviet Union ah yeah 1963 Bud Hetan, um, John Bettle, Philip Morris, Leon Bloom, Kim Philby, Brian Ward. Yeah. <laughs> some, some words are okay, and some words, yeah, like Soviet Union, I had to read to understand. Yeah. Um, Kim Philby. Okay, I had no idea what the question entailed. Uh, click, Pad et Landvast, und Rattles and Janst for. Cortes DGSE. Uh, that was French. Yeah. Direction General de la Sécurité Exterieure. Yeah, I seem to... German or French, I seem to pronounce a bit better, at least. Hmm. Alright, next question. Mysterious. Um... Oh, yeah, this one got me, I think... Yeah, the KGB changed to something else. Uh... Under at Seljans Secret Service. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a few questions specifically for like Swedish uh historical figures that I just had no idea. But that said I actually got uh Fidel Castro and Che Guevara mixed up, so yeah, my general knowledge isn't that great. Um yeah. KG I think it was no, I picked S oh, I was aiming for SVR. Vad Kaldas Underat Seljats and Secret Service if uh, Soviet Union Ah, oh, just KB KGB, okay. So I get a few easy ones. Uh some star for Komitet Gos Gosf <laughs> Oh no, that's a fuckerish. <laughs> I'm not starting on Russian. Um and this one was I'm actually reading the question to try and understand it, because I didn't know, I just know that's Matahari from the picture. Uh, Ali Reda Amina. Yeah. Matahari. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So certain questions ask you to type in an answer, and this one I didn't know. Um, I think, what's that? Hutton... Deutsch collection. Okay. Uh, what had then uh, named was named. Okay. What had the Norsk and Givaren under 
Andra Valskriget was non hara bilit. It's a word here for traitor. Lands for a dare. Ah, lands for like his name means traitor. Okay. Mm. Yeah, hard to tell from the picture. Um. <laughs> Let's go, Doctor Manhattan. Vidkun Kulsing. After Tiersas is Negalang Dom's hard till Don Genum Arkesberg. Yeah, okay. Basically, he sold out Norway to the Nazis. Okay, cool. Vad hätte den better mal spinnen und verbilden? And fuck, who is this guy again? Not Audie Murphy. Audie Murphy's the guy that got like killed a fuck ton of Nazi. Ah, uh, yeah, did really well. Got a heap of commendations in World War Two, but he was British. Ah, uh, well, this guy might be British as well. Um, and it wasn't Samuel Colt. I'm gonna say. Anthony Blunt. Yeah, there we go. British uh, Constitoria Oxbion. Constitoria. Uh, history something. Okay. Uh, we up to... Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, which... Um, Mossad. Okay, that's Israel. Definitely. Yep. Um, ah, yeah, this was, uh, Vemskrev Konst, Konst or Kunst is art. Okay. Vemskrev, uh, Bast, Stala, Jen, Spionen som kom in fran Kailan. Um, and, no idea. John Le Carve, I was like, did named, uh, David Korn. Okay. And yeah, this was, um, I could only pick it from the, uh, picture. That's Orson Welles, uh, Dentred Manen by Graham Greene. Okay. Spy who came in from the cold. Okay. Nice. But yeah, doing, ah, oh, here we go. So yeah, every job you do, there's this little mini game at the end and it's usually a way to get a bit of bonus money. And shout, <laughs> shout me, fucking oath. Um, yeah, yeah, these were so cool. My favourite was the um, the fruit sorting one. That's the only one I really remember. But yeah, so we have to grab our secret documents, get them through this area without touching detection areas or the walls. Yeah, annoying stick basically. So let's have a crack. I did so shit at this the last time. Because I forgot you couldn't touch the walls. I'm um, standing out of that area. I need to put the Metal Gear Solid music over the top of this. I'm a spy. And... And these just go off at fucking random too. Can we get it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, we did it. Yeah, it's an odd game, but uh, just some... It, I know we've got the whole nostalgia goggles on, but... I, uh, we had a lot of fun with this and we sort of grew up as well with like, um, I know my bread and butter when I was like four or five was, uh, where in the world was Carmen San Diego. Uh, and it was the days we uh, couldn't, this was like late eighties, early nineties. You couldn't just Google it. You physically had to like open up an atlas to figure out what the fuck. Yeah. Where your criminal was heading to. Um, I did see there's a bit of resurgence coming with. Carmen San Diego. I think they did like a new series or something like that. Everything I know I learned from this game. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Like why it's not, why it wasn't recommended more for educational uh, things is beyond me because there was some good trivia in it. And yeah, searching for this game, um, I know there was a sequel. Um, that added a few more elements, like you could buy knickknacks in one country and sell them to the other one. Hey, Face Roll, how you doing, man? We're playing a bit of mine and TP's childhood here. This is called Backpacker. Uh, very, very, very obscure uh, travel trivia game. Uh, it's so old. Yeah, like this is one of the old Windows 3.1 ones. But yeah, something about, yeah, just learning 
and not actually like researching shit was always fun like yeah digging through a fucking encyclopedia and stuff like that just uh yeah yeah i was uh that was part of my research it sold really like 60 no six hundred thousand copies that sold in sweden i think but um oh yeah yep yeah, that was the other point um it's the swedish version so yeah i'm at a disadvantage but thankfully tp has been translating a few words for me not to give it all away i've been doing okay i've been doing okay in my little spy network um, oh you motherfucker <laughs> um what was the other thing yeah two was had more gameplay elements and then it changed developers on the third one i've got them there like three should be okay to get running because it came out like 2003 i should just be able to run compatibility mode hey we made 86 pounds uh hypnospace outlaw i haven't heard of i may have to write that one down because um uh this is going back away but phylax has recommended quadrilateral cowboy which i've been meaning to try as well um so that can go on the wish list uh let's just put that on hypnospace outlaw well i'm in the mood for music questions i might do music hall Musical London, Vion Scarvar, Nye, Meta, Meta, Betare, Death Sandals, Valkommen. Nice. <coughs> what is this instrument? That is a sitar. Okay. Um, I need to listen to some more of them, but I've gotten into King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard recently, and the main dude actually plays one of those. Uh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. This is before my time. Which one's Benny? <laughs> I should know. I think... Because it, it was Benny, Bjorn, uh, Frida, and... I forgot the other girl. God damn it. Um, hit no space. Ah, yep. Let's go... Fuck. That's Bjorn. That was Benny. Forgot which one had the mustache. Den Maha Komponaritan. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck, who did Fur Elise? Uh, should. Uh, who did Fur Elise? Uh, 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 uh. Fur would be four in German, which is. Uh, let's just say Mozart. Beethoven, okay. Hmm. Alright. <coughs> Bob Dylan, Ford, 1941, Zangare, guitarist, compositor, or text for Fatare, uh, Fatare, from Minnesota, uh, from, from, I guess, from Minnesota, USA, had it on its name. Oh, what was his original name? Yeah. Uh, Fred Fox. <laughs> Robert Zimmerman. Okay. Den Maha Componera Desta OP64 NR1. Der Korte Pianistik Kant under it Anat Nam Vilket. Ah, Desta. OP64 NR1. Hymns Flight Gubbin Nock. Yeah, yeah, I only know for release and these, like, the Swedish translations of... That'd be, yeah, Minute Waltz. Yeah, let's try Minute Waltz. Hey, it was right. Nice. Frederick Chopin. Nice. Okay. Rock around the clock. Pick Bill Haley. That would be Bill Haley there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess music says not as much, um communication boundaries with music uh pub building since Stu howe guitarist eden engleska pop group som billard is 1968 off up uh, 70 talent led on the in on dance symphoniska rock music and vad heter gruppen 
I don't know if that's meant to be Stu Howe or Steve Howe. Um, English pop group 1968. Um, oh, hang on, maybe. King. Oh, it's either King Crimson or Moody Blues if it's right that time. Oh, it's from Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. -o. Yeah, yeah, yes. Always had the orchestral. I didn't realize. I forgot they were that old, actually. Yeah, so I do like roundabout after all the JoJo I've watched. Uh, Vard Bruka den Harman's Atond Symphony Colors. Uh, I'm guessing what symphony did this guy write? Tober Peter Ockwagen, De Fira Artisterna, Tom Henden Symphony, den Oful Bordad. Uh, uh, <coughs> Then on Fulaba, Franz Schubert. Okay. What had the instruments on the ha Latin American ska manen spilapa? It's obviously not a Zal. I'm just going to say Zal. I find it's probably got a significant name. Maybe they were not expecting peace. Marimba. Yeah. Ah, Callus called. All right, I remember that. That's the one. Um, it's in a shit ton of Tom Waits stuff from like the 90s onwards. Bone Machine and all that. Louis Armstrong, Amerikansk jazz trumpeter, Oksangare Vadham, Hedhan for Smeknam. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, what was his nickname? And the text is gone, but I know it's Satchmo. Louis Satchmo Armstrong. Oh shit. Uh. Yeah, it went a little bit wonky, but uh, I think we're going to go wonky with this stuff. Spela de Hartonen ha comma des asvis visas en ton som du skal foroska an slapa piano tangent. So I'm guessing play a note and play a similar note. Or the same note. Um... Uh, I can't scroll either. Okay. So that'd be a C. Low C. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Ah, uh, fuck. That was... I got two minutes. All right. This is tricky for me because I never played piano. Uh, this is in a C key and I used to play saxophone, which was uh, G sharp. Um, so this might be tricky for me. And, oh no, it was close. There we go. Oh, 12 correct. That's all right. Uh, Yeah, at least it's... Oh, that's high C. Okay. A couple more of those. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because I always remembered... Goes by the lines. Like, that's half a step. That's a full step. And... Yeah, a lot more intuitive than the fucking... Um, that stupid puzzle from Bloody Mist. The music one for the rocket ship. Yeah. And it's sort of logic based as well. Like if you see, it's at least showing you where you are. And that would be, yeah. Oh no, hang on. There we go. Fuck, got a minute to go. Alright. Oh no, no sharp on that. And that's got sharp on it though. Oh no, hang on. Uh, oop. No, hang on. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and that should be. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but, 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 should be. No, ah, why not? Remember to tune your didgeridoo to hum, hum, hum. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
got me hanging for some Yon Yothu Gindi now. That's a good band. Oop. Ah, two steps. And 322 pounds. Yeah, I play piano good. Nice. Uh, we missed out on the license, but we did okay. 64%. Not too bad at all. Right. So let's save. Um, I'll have a quick look what other jobs are on offer, but I think we might head to uh, head somewhere else. Uh, Illusionist, back then I 6, Parliament, uh, Radio TV. Yeah, let's do Illusionist, and then we might head off to uh, another country. Albert Hall, London, Vianskar, Vianne, Meta Betarare, Death Sandals, Valkomen. Cool. Vilket, our dog Harry Houdini, den Ungersk, Amerikansk, Circuitisten, som blev kand, som alla tiders storst, uh, ud bitarkon. Um, Maybe when he did this specific trick. Um, I think he was dead by 1900. Speaking of childhood, I've been watching all episodes of Liftoff and the Ferals. I remember the Ferals. Can't really remember Liftoff. I remember a lot of those shows of... Um, like the variety ones, like offshoots or previous things of Cheese TV or Agro's Cartoon Connection. Oh, some of it was nuts. I love the... Um, Outtakes for aggro, because he was fucking filthy. He was a filthy boy. <laughs> uh, uh, what's Harry Houdini's real name? I think it was Eric Weiss. Yeah. Yeah, Australian 90s TV. Holy shit. What had it then, Mark Tigger? Mark Tigger, is that magic? At Trokalen i Sagnor om Kung Arthur. Merlin. Well, and Hava son till an incubus, och en una och kunduskara in framiditen och saga maniscus odin. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cheese TV had its moments. I, um, I remember a couple of the ones on ABC. I think there was one called vidiots there was always like a big block in at like five in the afternoon and i've seen the host of that um he's done a bit of stuff on abc news 24 like the variety programs like the little doco into like they interview a heap of people and he does a bit of that the great magician from the north oh yeah there you go Vilken Trollkarl from scotland color the sig den store Trollkarl from norma um Nope, John Henry Anderson. Okay. If I'd hand den ungesk Americans circus artist some com at bli kand some alla tides stost ut vitakum for artist nam. Uh what's the name of this American circus performer? Uh, but, 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 good question. Um, mm, no idea. Biggest breakout artist of the ages. Is that just Houdini from another angle? I'm just going to put Houdini. Ah, oh, it is Houdini. Okay. Just haven't seen that specific photo. Uh, Vilken Trollo de la Massacan Man. Harled from Nat Varden's opening, opening sword. Uh, just off topic, I love these, um, the, all of these sort of pop, the titles from like pop novels and shit, because they were fucking cool. Um, ah, oh, focus, focus. No idea what the question was, that was a rough guess. Vad het den man som bojad saga itu dama pa 1920 tale. Oh, this is very Swedish, you reckon? Oh, so was, uh, was that like a Swedish pulp novel or something like that? Um, Selbert, Percy Thomas Tibbles. Okay. Her manga caught adet e in van league Kotlek Utan Jokra. Um, no idea. 
I do love this kind of artwork as well. Um, I'll tell you a story, JC. Um, when I was a young boy, um, apparently between like the 1880s and the 1920s, how many cards on the deck minus the Jokers? Oh, okay, 50. No. It's 52. Must be 48. Oh, it's 52. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a full deck. I'm not... I don't have a full deck, clearly. But yeah, this sort of artwork... There was apparently a bookshop in Melbourne. Um, yeah, late 1800s, early 1900s. Called Cole's uh, Book Arcade. And it was supposed to be like... P.T. Barnum sort of shit. Like, it was a bookshop, but it had live bands, uh, circus performers, flying monkeys, and all this sort of shit. And they came out with this picture book in the 80s. And it's got a lot of stuff like this. Uh, a lot of racist shit. <laughs> um, well, really racist shit. Stuff you can't get. It's, yeah, probably should get rid of it. But, um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I love that sort of artwork. And apparently... <laughs> I forgot what street it's in, but apparently this book arcade had this really fancy um, roof and there's still a piece of it uh, in one of the alleyways as you go through the CBD. Um, I've been meaning to actually go and find it at some point, one day. Um, per Eklund, uh, Eklund uh, en av Sergas, Meskanda, Illusionista och Avali Chikmen. Kotlikin vad kallas detna manta and I'll have Kotlikin osh. Yeah, so this would be a, um, I guess a Swedish illusionist or something. Um, per Eklund. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, um, Brett Eklund. Oh no, hers is spelt differently. Uh, Ek. And after a uh, sex change. <laughs> ah. <coughs> What's it called when you take half a deck and put it underneath? That's just cutting in English. Oh, you actually had it pointed out. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll... Um, yeah, if we ever do nostalgic stuff, I'll fucking... Um, yeah, show it off on stream at some point. Yeah, didn't do well on that one. We certainly got the boot. But, um, yeah, gives us the opportunity to go for a travel. Right, so we've got Rome, Warsaw, Berlin, Casablanca, Amsterdam, uh, Wien, which I'm not sure what that one is, to be honest. Uh, Montreal or Reykjavik. Um, I'm guessing it's distance based, so. Um, the further you go, the more it costs. Yeah, Australian Swedish culture exchange rather. Yeah. Um, I did see. I might have to do Hugo the Troll at some point as well. Or at least research the whole. Like you were telling me how you could actually bring it up and play it on your phone when it was on TV. Like, I've got to look into that side of it. Um. I don't know where I want to go. Well, let's go with um, what's happening in the world now. So it's basically summer over there. Or close enough. For, oh, well, spring. Yeah, because it's autumn here. Yep. Ah, you had a rotary phone for Hugo. Yeah, that would have made it tricky. <laughs> it's tricky enough. I've, I've seen like the PlayStation versions and they look hard. Uh, and it's yeah like it's we never had anything like that just because I guess we had a lower popular yeah like America and Europe seemed to have because there was like a more populated area they seemed to get things a lot quicker than we did but like, I still can't get over how cheap like uh, uh, fiber optic uh, internet is over there compared to here like here it's still 100 bucks a month for 100 megabits uh, and unlimited downloads. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go Casablanca. I'm in the mood. Uh, how much? How much? Did we? I don't know, 391. That's how much I've got. Okay. Yeah, 391 pounds. That's fine. <laughs> I'm 
Like, we're only going for like a fucking couple thousand Ks, dude. Populated, we just hit 10 million sweets. Shit. Eh, hey, that's. Um, uh, what are we up to? Have to be about 25 million in, in just in. Actually, no, I haven't checked lately, so yeah, don't quote me on it. It was 25 million at one stage. Um, 69% correct. Oh, the best kind of correct, yeah. I guess we've been here 35 days. Uh, three starter half. Oh, that's jobs, I guess, and that's ones we've missed out on. Fourth biggest country in Europe, population size of London. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, alright, so let's find, uh, actually I might check these out, because they had, one of them gave me money at one point. Uh, Hassan, uh, something about a mosque, famous mosque, Hassan 2, or it might be about prince of some sort. And, oh, you get a little thing you can click on that tells you about the country. Um, oh yeah, Marrakesh is, uh, in there as well. And I used to get Morocco mixed up with Monaco, because we went to Monaco when we were in Europe, but that's more up fucking that way somewhere, plus the Mediterranean somewhere. Statistics, constitutional monarchy, um, Arabiska, Olika, Berbersprak, Franska, Spanska, so French, Spanish, Arabic, and whatever that one was. Yeah, Sunni Muslim. Uh, Rabat. Ah, oh, Rabat's the capital of Morocco, is it? Might have used to be or something. And yeah, you get the little... Oh. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. When we were in Europe, um, we got our camper van to go around Europe in Fran in Paris. So we did, uh, when we first arrived, I think we went uh, Brisbane, Sydney, Singapore... Uh, London then straight over to Paris and we started uh, with Paris and yeah so the camper van we got had the um, the French sticker on the back and I think mum got pissed off with everyone just yelling out bonjour and fucking all that so she actually got a, um, a sharpie and fucking wrote like Australia and drew, drew like a little kangaroo on the back <laughs> don't really seem to care about the um ah uh, okay because I'm visiting stuff that's costing me money because I'm seeing the world okay <laughs> um, 111 dirham a nut alright let's check in I know fuck all about Morocco I don't know why we went here but we're gonna find out yeah, that's why, because we're going to get a lot of questions about Casablanca. <laughs> uh, film in Casablanca, 1943, made Ingrid Berman, some in of Hoover in Havana, Uspelas, Til Store, Del Pa, et Cafe. Uh, oh, what was the name of the cafe in Casablanca? Shit. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Wasn't Baghdad? Wasn't Safi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, cafe. It was. A, I didn't think it was that obvious. I guess yeah, full of American expats. But uh, yeah, Abel Funk again in Marco Tilo and folk groups some are uh, Barricade de Four, Street Bike, Aqua and Gang. Uh, Fructade, Strolovare, Vadheta, Berfokningen in Maracos. Hey, childhood biddies. Thanks, CV. <laughs> Give me a credit for King. We're going to go to the jar there. My childhood of football. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Alright, um, that's, I'm guessing, something about a folk group in Morocco. And you did tell me what Heta was. Uh... Ah, Berber. Anyway. I had in Mangla, Hoover, in Harbour. Maybe this is like to sort of test the waters. Like it doesn't straight out kick you out of the thing, but it's like 
Uh, if you don't know enough questions about Morocco, you should probably go elsewhere. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's Humphrey Bogart. Yes. Um, store Dylan of Morocco, Utmarks, Crafty, Relief, Taklaran, Hog, Vekberg, Skither. Um, Sierra Madres in America. It's not the Pyrenees, Atlas Bergen. Uh, it's not the Andes. <laughs> Fuck, it was Atlas Bergen. New immigration rules. Here's the test to see if you're really interested in the culture enough to visit. Yeah, that's uh, that would be a good test, I think. Uh, America, so if, yeah, clearly I don't give a fuck about Morocco. <laughs> but uh, um, oh, I did say, yeah, yeah, I got because I researched. I look at the thing. And, oh fuck! Here we go. Uh, Tanger. Safi, I just gotta memorize where all these are. Shit. Um, Tanja. Yep. <laughs> uh, lucky I had some repeats there. Hill Magoon. Uh, Hill Magoon, okay. Uh, Rabat was. Fuck off, Rabat was. Ah, oh, right. Set out. Hill Magoon, that was. Fuck, that was. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, give me. Cause blank was that. Fuck. Oh, it's and yeah, it's not. Uh, <laughs> tips. <laughs> Megun. <laughs> Megun. <laughs> uh, Uja. Oh goddamn. And Rabat was fucking. No, I can't even get the capital right. <laughs> Maybe you should try elsewhere. Um, Alright, so how are we doing for cash? 9790 dirham. Uh, let's go looking for a job. No, that's. No, not the airport. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're not. No way they'd have a fucking computer. Uh, inventor. We can be an inventor. Uh, Biographic Master, which is, I think, Librarian, I'm gonna guess. Uh, what have we got? FC Control. Mm -hmm. Partner Cadia. Yeah, let's go. You don't have enough experience from that. Okay. Uh... Alright, I'm just going to pick a job at random. <laughs> I can just sit here and imagine the interview too. Sitting there talking to me in like Arabic and stuff. I'm like... Fuck, <laughs> just <laughs> pretend to be strong. Ah, cinema technician. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, we've got carpentry questions. And this is going to be trickier because I might... Know something, but not what the word is in Swedish. Okay. But Carlos Dena summons something. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss out on 471 dirham as well. God damn it. Um, sink. <laughs> Fuck, no idea. Oh my god, it's all wood. wood. It's a carpentry one. Shit. <laughs> but Carlos hops covening of. Trabalka. Um, I'm guessing that's something to do with the grain. Let's try scolding. Last thing. I Let's just get pies. In half tongue. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's for like nail. Yeah, that's p specifically for pulling nails. Okay. Uh, Vodkarsen. Holy, these are all fucking carpentry questions and I've got no fucking idea. Um, can I type out the entire lyrics of Hell on Gore? <laughs> Masua. <laughs> and it's, um, oh, it's actually docking me cash every day because it's like I'm still getting living expenses. 
yeah, not not ancient carpentry. I know normal carpentry. And, yeah, I'm fucked. I'm totally fucked because I don't know <laughs> the names. Is it a half hammer, a call hammer, plim hammer, pen hammer, claw, ha claw hammer. Oh, yeah, claw hammer. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> And I know that's a dovetail joint. But yeah, not the um, temple knot, la laxning, triangle sets, <laughs> funga. <laughs> funga sounds like, um, yeah, like a soft drink knockoff or something. <laughs> uh, laxning. Okay, let's try that. Hey, that's all. Okay, last thing, none that come of art that Anna stick at for and profile. Uh, salmon tails. Okay, okay. Last thing. <laughs> what the fuck is this lot doing? Um. <laughs> I, what? I, no, I. I don't know what's going on here. Like, Carlos, he's kind of. What? It's getting scared. Fucking. Yeah, you're not fucking wrong. <laughs> you just. <laughs> what are these words? See this? Yeah, this is where the cultural thing breaks down. Because I might know, I might know something about woodworking, but not the Swedish word for it. And yeah. Um, Gehring Slider, okay. I think I'm just, oh, no, that's right. You can actually quit if you're not doing well and you're not losing money for each question you're getting wrong. Um, that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's, let's quit. Sorry, guys. We're out. Okay, so, yeah, Mark Marrow, all right. Uh, yeah, so let's not do woodworking. Um, well, let's go, if we do, oh, is it, oh, there's a librarian. Yeah, oh, okay, bibliothecari. Uh, that's, because it's bibliothèque in French. So library, yeah. Um, Vavas, Batari, and Stans. Um, New Wave. Ah, restaurant. Uh, yeah, if this is a restaurant one, uh, this. Yeah, hopefully we can do so, do that fruit swapping mini game because that's fun. Um, yes, welcome on Death Sandals. Um, was uh, oh dock worker. Okay, but Carlos Invich Gunsas Pasmo Mjol Ok Mjolk. Uh, Hollandaise, ah, okay, Hollandaise, or Cumberland, Bolognese, sus, okay, so sus is sauce, uh, sauce made from butterflower milk, that is a bechamel sus, there we go, yeah, because at least on this one, at least I'm cooking, I uh, sure cooking, yeah, I had, what did I have for tea tonight, pasta, pasta without gravy, that's, that's how I roll. Uh, from Vilket, your comma till prosciutto. Okay. Uh, what is. Wouldn't be fisk, wouldn't be gree, wouldn't be get. I'm aiming last for ham. Oh, gree. Okay. Uh, rather until then, Italian scar, parmin scar, and prosciutto. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what had it then, mustiga saffron? From Vilket. Ah, oh, Fran from Vilket is what? Okay. Vad hätte den Mustiga Safran? Skirai dad Safran. I say some of the Severus till someone's med fisk. Ah, I say. Unfortunately, it's all fucking uh, French stuff anyway. Croc Monsieur, Pastisserie, Soup d'Avignon. Raton or Boulia base. Um, oh, it might have a clue in here, maybe. Um, 
What's from Marseille specifically? Saffron soup from Marseille served with fish. That would be bouillabaisse. There we go. Nice. Thanks for the translation too, GP. But Kalas Makota Kotbula of Kalv Ok Eventual Flaskras. Um Oh these remind me of those like training videos or the PSA things that Mystery Science here to do. Um Screw in did fast far ha type it in here. Um Cotbula. Uh small meatballs from veal or pork. It can't be that obvious, it can't just frickadels, okay. Frickadels. Hey, nice, you got it. Frickadella. And I like that too, like it's um if you're a little bit off it still gives it to you. No, good on you for getting it right. Vlad Kalas, uh, oh yeah, for the count. Vlad Kalas, det at Avrana et Machat Med Spirit. Um, Flambera. Ah, uh, okay, I didn't understand it. I just thought Sweden, Schnapps, Hellangor, burning a drink with alcohol, yep. Uh, Vilken and Obst Stande introduced pasta. Who introduced? Who introduced pasta to the Italians? That was um. Fuck it. I'm sure, it was Marco. No, hang on. Yeah, let's see Marco Polo. Yeah. Because they went to China first, and that's where they got the idea for it. From noodles. Uh. Vilke lives metal from Stalas med help of Kefikorn. Mm, what's my synap? Cornflakes, film york, Boston Gurkha, Pulse Soccer. Um, Vilke uh, lives metal from. What food stuff do you make with Kefikorn? Okay. Uh, I've never heard of Kefcon. I've heard of Kefir Lime. That's, um, they use it in Asian dish dishes. It's like a little herb leaf kind of thing. Uh, Kefir corn. Uh, let's go. No. Snap. Kefir. Kos. Kok. Okay. Um, Vilken der fuck fucking Kalas Krasna den Severas. Fucking no idea. Film York, extremely Swedish. <laughs> no, I'm going to take a few mulligans on these ones. Um, no. Uh, Oh shit, here we go. Welcome to Advanced Swedish. Not wrong. And now I have to work out my cuts uh, from... Oh god, this is going to be tricky. Oxbans. Stora Francica. Okay. Entre Koterev. Um. Oh! Get my pigger. There's no but fucking <laughs> Rick Bringer, Callup, uh the be I don't know, it's close. Fuck I don't even know all my cuts of beef either. Shit. Uh, oh from lug, yep. Yeah. Rost. Uh yeah, there we go. Ankle beef club steak. Steaks usually Oh yeah, it's soft bit, isn't it? Store T bone, uh that's oh, up the back, okay. From log leg club stack so yeah, stack bits are usually round here. Come on. Ah oh, fuck, alright, didn't get them up. <coughs> and quit your job. Okay, yep, didn't do as well, but yeah, we got a few. We got a few we kept a little bit of money. Um, 
Yeah, I might have a quick coffee and we'll um, definitely come back to this because I'm having fun. I'm from Peter, yeah, yep. Um, where was John Paul II from? We actually got to see him. I did a speech in, yeah, um, my sister remarked that uh, he was a tiny man, but he was very far away on a balcony. Yeah, um, and she was four at the time, so her knowledge base wasn't that great. Yeah, we're old TP. Fucking, I'm, we're 35 this year. Uh, I think it was Polish? Yeah. 35, man. Hair's been gone for a while, so don't worry about that too much. Um, <laughs> it took me a while to work out that's a face. With a little lemon bow tie. Uh, Herr Winter. Mr. Winter. Michelangelo. Uh, September for me, dude. Uh, Alberti. Raphael. Raphael? No. Giuseppe Archimboldo. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Should be okay with this. Bologna. Oh, you can barely see the fucking dots. Uh, Napoli. Uh, fucking... Ah, uh, shit. Uh, but... that one? No, it was that one. It's always one over. Sardinia. Uh, that's... Yeah, there we go. Milan. Uh, it was Milan. Oh, I was... I thought I clicked on it. I keep clicking on the one wrong for blown. Uh, Venice. Uh, Venice was... I thought it was up this way somewhere. Yeah, your time, the time of the 32-year-olds. <laughs> uh, Sicily, I know that one. Napoli. Naples. I'm fucking, it keeps in there. Venice. Venice. Venice? Oh, God. Um. <laughs> Torino. Yeah, Young and Spry JC. Napoli. Fuck. Ooh, oh, that one. Right, um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's ring the parents. <laughs> Just check in. Just, <laughs> I'd like to see what this exchange is. Shit, we've blown through the money a fair bit, too. <laughs> like, um, I think we started with 30,000 kronor. Hello? 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 Apparently that's what I sound like. <laughs> um, yeah, send me two thousand. I don't know. Is this a, are we going back to like my summer car if I at run Finland by accident? <laughs> Alright, let's find a job and try and pay my two pirate dad back. <laughs> uh, oh, archaeolog. Archaeolog. Archaeology, I was trying to say. <laughs> Art Deco. The Hall of the Snows. Tukonsna. Talamid Romeo. Bartender. Ignite. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was actually similar to that for the English dub, but I don't remember, like, our character being that nasally. Might have been. Maybe I was in there. I don't know. Uh, we can do... What have we got? Bite, bartender. Oh, yeah, the, um... Yeah, might have to come back to that one, because you said that was projectionist. Um, so I might... Yeah, yeah, let's try that one. And we are qualified. Um, yeah, because I think we're going to do better with film questions, just so I can get some money back. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah, easy one. Um, good fardin. Okay. <laughs> Makes Marlon Brando sound like, um, like a wise grandpa or something like that. <laughs> but yes, Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, shit. Uh, apparently, two thousand krona goes a long way. Shit. All right. Yep, Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, Charlie. Swedish is bizarre English. Yeah, yeah. Like I, 
I think it's more the pronunciation. Like, I can sort of picture it in my head, sound the word out, and then I go, ah, oh, that actually makes sense, like um, Soviet Union and England and stuff like that. Uh, music. Who made the music for the Chaplin films? Ah, oh, that's a bit tricky. Um, hmm. But look at him. Ah, oh, that's worth a fuck ton of lira, eh? Um... Hmm. Who did the music? Um, no idea. Um, your mum. Yeah. Oh, he actually did the music. Okay, there you go. Ah, uh, oh, it's a. Uh, hmm. James Stewart. Okay. Fil Nineteen forty-eight film. Uh, definitely not Rosemary's Baby. Uh, this is also going to be tricky because I don't know the Swedish names for a lot of movies. Um, or Nastet Repet Princessa Pavift. Ah, uh, The Eagle's Nest. Eagle's Nest, The Rope, Princess on the Run, Diligence, Diligence and um, yeah, because I don't, I can't remember what James Stewart's, was he, I think he was the guy from North by Northwest, it's probably the only thing I know him from, uh, let's go to the Eagles in this, no, Repet, Alfred Hitchcock, okay, and that is, um, Mae West, I think, oh god, <laughs> Imagine trying to do Mae West voice in Swedish. I'm actually going to have a crack at it. I'm going to have a crack. Um, I don't really have anything to make fake boobs. But, uh... Nah, drag. Ah, bra. Ah, drag. Make it. Make it, bra. Man, nah, drag. Ah, darling. Ah, drag, bazaar. I think she's meant to be a bit more mush mouth, but anyway. Uh, there we go, Mae West. 1980 she lived to, bloody hell. Ah, oh, God, I love... It's alive, it's alive! Uh... <laughs> when spell out Hoover Drollin, some Frankenstein's monster, uh, that would be Boris Karloff. Um, <laughs> it's better right, Boris Karloff. Um, Boris Karloff. Um, I love the, I watched like a horror special that had like the archive footage of outtakes. He was in like, I know it was all, yeah, looking in black and white. I didn't realize the paint itself was actually like bright green, uh, for Frankenstein's monster. But yeah, you work with what you got in the thirties, I guess. Hmm. Mayor is calling the original Sudere. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this would be Clint Eastwood. Fucking easy one, man. Shit, we're roll. Oh, I picked the right job here. Yeah, good old projectionist. Um, ah, oh, okay, so that's Richard Burton. Um, and I'm guessing this is who he's married to, which would be this young lady here, who is Elizabeth Taylor. There you go. Right. I love that fucking War of the Worlds musical. Not gonna lie. Gift. Gift. Married. Yep. Okay. Um, click on... <laughs> I was gonna click on Japan just because it says manga down here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell that biographer very, uh, stuck. <laughs> uh, that and the Noma movies definitely start. <laughs> <laughs> Alika Landa Landa Med Miket Egan Which country has the most cinemas? Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go to the US. Just as a Holy shit. Is that China? Uh yeah, I suppose China. Huh. Okay. Um Vad heter den Amerikansk Skadespela Miskand Land uh Kan Land Landa, okay. I yeah. Uh Miskand 
from filming Thungan Pazenda. Um, it's not Gregory Peck. It's not Walt. Is it? Hang on. Thungan Pan. Thungan Pazenda. Uh, I suppose, yeah, if it's Fantasia, it's Walt Disney, obviously. Um, looks more like Peter Gabriel with a mustache. Um, Fung Prisoner. Okay. Uh, prisoner something. Uh, prisoner, Prisoner, Prisoner. If it says Cary Grant, I'm going to be annoyed. <coughs> Douglas Fairbanks. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know much of this stuff. Uh, then Americansk Film Register and John Houston. Um, who looking out with Negas Film Ahan Interregistrat? Um, fuck. I know John Houston did. No, no, I'm getting him mixed up with, uh, Hughes. Guy did, like, Breakfast Club and Ferris Bueller. Um, John Houston, I should know. Anyway. Um, uh, hair. Ah, uh, Milos Forman. Okay. Anyway. Ah, uh, here we go. So, yeah, pick the music, movie from the screenshot. Uh, this is going to be interesting. All right. A lot of his movies I don't really know either. Uh, modern, twenty six, whatever that is. Jordan, <laughs> fuck. Then store illusion into is not okay. Okay. Um, so you gonna click on them randomly? Uh, yep. That's yeah. That's Battleship Potemkin. Uh, yeah. And Venus Martyrium. No idea. That's it. Uh, Dead Story Illusion in. Doesn't help that not all these movies, uh, a lot of these movies are international. Um, Citizen Kane. Fuck, how do I get that from a fucking screenshot? Sick <laughs> Elgivan. Oh, fuck. Um, yep, no idea. Well, Citizen Kane, we can get Goldfelba. 19 gold something, I guess. Ah, okay. Modern was that one. Then story illusion in uh, Jordan. Pff, fucking no idea. <laughs> and we got a little bit. And oh, only fifty-five percent, eleven points. No, uh, no license for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're rolling Lyra. Eh? Um. Might do one more job and then we'll, um, might call it for tonight. Just, um. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, one more job. Uh, no, that's the hotel. Hmm. No worries, P2P, enjoy your lunch. Um. And now, <laughs> now we can have one straight run where I don't get help. And, yeah, this will be interesting. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. There we got bartender, I guess. Sports journalist. Um. Collective of Um. Bit, 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 bit. Yeah, I might go bartender. Il Restaurante Rum. Get a battle ball, Morty. Bardig to Swedish Vita. Swedish Vita, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, um... Vilket spirit blandening harfat sit namt efter den engelsk admiral in e vernon sommer 1740. What's that got to do with fucking drinks? Um, bal cocktail grog toddy branvin. E. Vernon. Um. Romance of Spondo. Grog! Okay. Ah, uh, after Admiral and Rock Avsk Grogram is Grov. Oh god. 
KP, come back, I need your help. Vad kallas det at hala vintil karaf utan at famed botten satins? Fuck. Ah, Moe and Sean Dom. Um, ha, up can. Let's head monk and Dom Perignon gossip. Dom Perignon. Oh, it was an actual person. Okay. Yeah, like I'd be able to afford any of those sort of events. Yeah. You know, quit on me. Um, let's save. Uh, can we get. Uh, Lisbon, Lagos, maybe Paris. In the mood. Because, yeah, hopefully, yeah, I'm going to lose the exchange rate, and, yeah, France is not going to be as expensive as uh, the other areas. You're not a hotel. Uh, let's get stats on France. France it's a republic. Definitely in Paris. Yep. Okay. Um, there we go. 260 francs a not. A not, sorry. Oh, Monsieur Sanders. Okay. Um, oh! Uh, click on Notre Dame. Uh, uh, it's hard to recognize when it's not on fire. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh, piss. <laughs> Again, case of point. <laughs> Set it on fire and I would have seen it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, something at 1945. Ah, uh, Normandy. Yep. Uh, Race Vadvas uh, Hans Namd. What was the name selling? Ah, oh, Therese Rakan, I guess. Um, I think they spoofed him in like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen or something. Um, uh, Jean Jacques. Yeah. Emile Zola. Okay. Uh, Montmartre. Um, did Canon Versailles? Yeah. Quelle heure est-il? Quelle heure est-il? Quelle heure est-il? Um, Quelle heure est-il? No idea. Fad a clocken. Oh, what's the time? Okay. Right. Um, Leon. Fuck. Paris. Uh, Limagas, Le Havre, Dijon, uh, what's the mustard, I was aiming in a mustardy area, uh, Bordeaux, to, uh, south, Leons, was it, did, ah, yep, 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 Le Havre, uh, ah, piss, Grenoble, fuck, Le Havre, Calais, it's on there, Ah, uh, yeah, it's from fire. Nancy. Baton. Baton. Dijon was fucking... No, it was that one. Fuck. Uh, Grenoble, I can't remember. Uh, my old mind. It's turned into pudding. Um. <laughs> Dijon's come up like three times and I've got no idea. To lose Nancy. Anyway, we got a few of them. Checking in, let's do another job. Oh, I just realized the titles actually change up here to the correct language. Nice. Uh, Bill Mechanic. Ah, oh, Mechanic. Okay. Go back to my My Summer Car Roots. Yep. Funny guitar socks. Uh, architect. Yeah. Constasasinets, um, and that's politics again. Let's go mechanic. Okay, 
Um, from 1891. Uh, one's got drive in the van. Anyway. Um, oh, hang on. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I know my engine parts, I just don't know them in Swedish. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Kilar. Um. Okay, radiator. That's done. Oil filter. Oil filter. There we go. Oil puffling. Oil. Ah, oh, yeah. So, Kilar is. Was... Yeah, radiator. Expansion car, which would be. I don't know. <laughs> Flocked. No, um, expansion car was here. No, I fucking clicked on that. From Solo Behala, fucking ah, oh, yeah. Um, starter. No, it's usually underneath, isn't it? Uh, air filter. That should be where. That's an air filter, really? Um, flocked. No idea. Uh, Vince Capo. No idea. Fucking hell, alright. I guess I don't know cars either. Well, I don't know Swedish cars. <laughs> and, hang on. Yeah, don't quit. Uh, Vilket Engelske Billmark, uh, Detsom Hanna Denai. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, what's the. Is it a. Shit, I don't know. I should not. I. Um, I don't know which fan. Oh, it was Jaguar. Okay. I thought, yeah, what other hood ornament, if there's any other hood ornaments with cats on them, but yeah. Jaguar. Uh, ooh, a red motor. You're a red motor, okay. Um, oh, yeah, um. How fast would this contraption have gone? Let's say... Mm, let's say you boot it up to at least 10. 30, okay. Uh, something to do with Rolls. Um, Richard Rolls, Brian Rolls, Charles Stewart Rolls. Charles Stewart Rolls was... Ah, uh, Henry and Henry Frederick Royce created Rolls Royce in 1906. Okay, Rolls and Royce. Okay, I'm learning about cars. Nice. Uh, Solon 2000 something something hybrid bill. Um, no idea. I, I, I'm actually pushing forward because I'm hoping for like a driving mini game at the end of this at least. Um, oh, that would be a lot of wouldn't it? Fuck. Trevor. No idea. Um, oh, oh, no, I thought there was a mullet behind there, but, yeah, that's, uh, oh, still a bowl cut, still. Um, Bjarnark, uh, oh, fuck, as if I'm going to know that. Yeah, sure, 90s fucking, um, thing, eh? Sure. Oh, it's a Volvo. There you go. All right. Oh, I got the boot before I could do the mini game. That sucks. Alright, well, one more. One more. <laughs> this fucking game keeps sucking me in. Um, Alright. So, can do a mechanic again, but yeah. Um, let's see. We got a um, mom architect. So, no, I didn't. Yeah, let's let's figure out what this one is. Oh, a painter. All right. Okay. Uh, welcome mm -hmm. to Death Sandals. Um, yeah. So this was uh, Da Vinci. And yes, uh, they did put it on the side of the uh, both voyages. Yeah. Okay. That is fucking Picasso. I actually have to watch that movie. Like, yeah, um, they've done a biopic of Picasso, but it's played by Antonio Banderas, which is strange. Because, yeah, just weird seeing him old and bald. 
uh, Le Moulin de la Galette. Did the cat? I thought I saw the cat come behind me. Anyway. Um, but, 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 who painted this? Uh, it's Gauguin, Renoir, Bauer. Um, Renoir. Okay. Uh, Aubrey Beardsley, Angel Strachner, on Illustrator. Uh, Phil, can't I dog Aubrey Beardsley? I'm guessing when was she born? Or when did she die, maybe? I'm gonna go 60. 1898, okay. Uh, Impressionist, uh, Gorb. Gauguin, Manet, Mondrain, Degas, Henri Toulouse-Lautrec. I thought, I'm pretty sure Degas was an impressionist. Yeah, nice. Uh, Midag Zula had, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Van Gogh, who's wavy thingies. And, ooh, Pete... Mondrian, Mondrian, uh, Spain, Holland, Denmark, Holland, okay, oh, that's, uh, Andy Warhol, yeah, don't need, he's pretty easy to spot, oh. <laughs> hey, uh, that's just one fucking solid colour, like, what's the point? That's, that's just called, just, yeah. Anyway, um, Jean Arp, Marcel Duchamp, Duchamp, um, Paul Klee, Max Ernst, or Yves Klein. Yves Klein, okay. 2862, Portrait, Ambrose Vollard, 1899, uh, who... Uh, that's probably Impressionist. Might go cool guy. Cezanne. Okay. And, oh, God, I vaguely remember this one. This might be probably the best one to finish on for the night, though. Uh, this is... Uh, I don't know whether it tracks it properly or not, but you basically have to try and recreate a painting with the um with the like ms paint basically all right um i think that's what it tells yeah yep yeah. <laughs> uh so we have to paint this picture to the best of our ability on a time limit here we go oh i think i oh, know click the then build Still cow. Yeah, so we can, let's paint this cow. Um, okay. Yeah, all right, we're done. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> they paid 
waste our time. So I won like 2,000 francs for doing that. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yes! 75%. I am a winner at art. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. That was so much fun. What a way to finish. Oh, man. That was cool. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. I'm going to have to um, go a little bit earlier than I usually do but um, thanks for coming along JC thanks for everyone else who lurked and thank you most of all TP for the um, translations yeah really helped get me through but yes cow wins art <laughs>